at the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. On third down, they're going to go with the option. That's out to the left and complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give him 17 on that pickup. And the Raven first down. On first and 10, it's Dalvin's. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Dobbins running out of the gun. Dobbins hit and he fumbles. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they take possession to... ...yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Covered by the defense. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. This pass gonna be caught by Hardman. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. and five. Mahomes now to throw. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. At the 48-yard line. Looking to throw. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So first and 10 now from the 30. Mahomes going to throw. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards taken down at the 14-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. It's caught on the right side. Williams. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are going to take a first-quarter lead. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Kick is good to make it 7 0 KC. Makes the score Chiefs 7, Ravens nothing. Harrison Butker to kick off. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. set at the line for this next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. 
Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And three yards there takes them to the 45. On the carry for Baltimore. Tyron Matthew on the tackle. From the 45 on second down, Jackson. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. A loss of two yards. And it's on third down. Here's Dobbins. And he will get this to the midfield stripe, but that's not going to be enough. He's a few yards short. It'll be a gain of seven, but I'd imagine we'll see the punt team here on fourth down. Side Andrews with it complete. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. And he stopped immediately there. Tyron Matthew there to make the tackle. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the gun, it's Jackson. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 33. From the gun, Jackson. And he's gonna go down. They get to him back at the 40. Tano Passigno just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And they run the option on second down. Jackson gonna get this out to Brown. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. And it brings up third down. Well, they got to get to the 23 here on third. Jackson from the shotgun. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. But well, he's been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on it, made it very tough for him to get the ball. at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. From the gun, Jackson. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. Holmes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at about the 32. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Le'Veon Bell. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. The 35-yard line. From the 35 on second down, Mahomes marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Chased out left. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, you don't want to coach him, Charles, to stay in the pocket on every play, but I guess that's the danger of getting outside of the pocket, extending a play, and making a bad throw. Turns into six points the other way. Yeah, sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your, your vision actually gets obscured a little bit, or you narrow it down too much and you don't see all the defenders in the area. Justin, Justin Tucker for the extra point. The extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That ties the game at seven. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken from about the 12. A good-looking return set up here. 
And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Now Mahomes to try again after the pick six. And this one is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyree. Killed that time. That'll bring up second down. Marlon Humphrey on the coverage. Now Bell. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On third down, here's Bell. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They get the first. The decision to run on third and medium winds up being a good one. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Snap coming at one, and it's pretty chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Yards. That's another Kansas City Chiefs. First down. First and 10 at the 28 yard line. Switch, switch, switch. Check 52. Check nine, check nine. Watch that, watch that, watch that. Mahomes now on first down. Man open left side, it's Williams. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Call it a one-yard gain of the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Quick throw taken in by Sneed. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Complete to Willie Sneed. Out of bounds at the Second corner, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Brings up second and two. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Be about a yard or so short, only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. It's now fourth down. 
They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. Wide open receiver complete. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Brown. Jackson. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Out of bounds at the 31-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Operating from the gun. Jackson. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. He certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Third down, Dobbins. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. And they're gonna get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Chris Jones able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. After the sack on first down, Jackson. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. 23 yards on the play. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. At their own 29-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they want. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. They turned the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Now Mahomes gets this one to Hill and to the 36 yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. At the Ravens 36 yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. Caught left side, Williams. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. 16 yards, a first down. First and 10 at the Here's Bell. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. The ball carrier. Tackle made at the 16 yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. On third down, Bell. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. First and goal at the eight-yard line. Now here's Mahomes. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Damian Williams, his second touchdown of the night, and the Chiefs have taken the lead.
Baker now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score. Chiefs 14. Ravens 7. Harrison Butker. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Jackson now. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Second and 10, here's Jackson again. Looking for Snead, and it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And it's a terrific return here as he's gonna have them set up with a first and goal right at about the six yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's gonna stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Now Bell. Oh, my goodness. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Great call to hand that one off, and his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly, and on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play, and guess who benefited? The guy with the football. It's good, and it is now 21 to seven. Makes the score, Chiefs 21, Ravens seven. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone, and no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? Number eight, I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. From the gun, Jackson into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Bashad Breland. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right and now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited like about getting that all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 51 yards, and the Chiefs add on to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Butker now to add the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. Makes the score, Chiefs 28, Ravens 7. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Throwing again, Jackson. And quick throw here, that's complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. No gain on the play. And they're going option play on third down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now here's a defense. Timeout called by the Chiefs. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Again, Jackson. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Chris Jones, his second sack of the night. Defense will normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack He's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Jackson. Caught by Snead over the middle. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Four yards. On fourth down, here's the option. Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. 
picked off by Bashad Breeland. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. The Chiefs take over. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Uh, they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and say, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Bashad Breeland. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. 